In part one, chapters one through three of Man in Leviathan, Thomas Hobbes examines the workings of the human mind. He explains the concept of sense in materialistic terms as the fanciful interpretation of the mechanical workings of human sensory organs when pressed upon by external objects that include light, sound, the chemical combinations that create odors, and physical objects. Hobbes refutes the teachings of Aristotle, which claim that each object also has a more spiritual aspect or essence interpreted by the human mind. To Hobbes, a person's sense of the world is nothing more than particles of matter bumping up against their sensory organs. He describes imagination as decaying sense, which allows a person to remember or even dream about an object's physical contact with their sensory organs. Hobbes calls the accumulation of memories experience. He also explains those imagined creatures, such as centaurs, are simply compounded memories of real things, in this case a horse and a man. Hobbes sees dreams as physical impressions made during a state of wakefulness that's been conserved. As a person experiences so many sensations and so many orders, it's impossible to anticipate which order their thoughts will take. A train of thoughts unguided, essentially a stream of consciousness, occurs in times of solitude, usually without an audience and for no particular purpose. By contrast, trains of thoughts regulated pertains to those thought sequences motivated by desire and fear. Regulated trains of thought in humans lead to prudence and conjecture, and the more experience one has, the more prudent one is likely to be. Thomas Hobbes' mechanistic approach to explaining how human thought occurs precedes the imaging technology used in modern hospitals. Yet in many ways, it's much closer to the modern scientific understanding of how the brain interprets neurological stimuli than that of Descartes, who saw the human mind and body as separate entities, a dualistic view derived from the philosopher Aristotle.